splash paper. Flash paper is a specially treated kind of paper that is treated with nitric acid, so when it's exposed to a heat source like a lighter or fire, it produces a brilliant flash of light. Some magicians like to incorporate flash paper into their experiments. Stuck somewhere without money? Try flash paper! Step 1. Grab a piece of flash paper. Then what you're going to want to do is stuff it into your fist. Then light the piece of flash paper on fire. Voila! Money! For our next experiment, experiment, we will be using a piece of paper to make uh, helicopters. First, you want to grab a pen and some scissors. You're going to want to split this piece of paper into thirds, or about thirds. So take your marker and draw two lines on the piece of paper, just like this. Now you're going to cut your piece of paper on these lines. Now that your paper is cut up, you're going to want to draw these markings on it. You're going to want to draw a line from the bottom about halfway through your piece of paper. Then you're going to want to make two little lines, not going all the way in, but close about an inch up from the bottom line. Do this to all of your stripes, strips. Now with your strips, you can experiment with different lengths and sizes for um, your lines. Then what you're gonna wanna do is cut upon each of the lines that you just drew. So now you should have a shape similar to this. You're going to take these two flaps and fold one back and one forward. So then it should look something like this. Then with the bottom, you're gonna fold this in half in the front and half in the back. So then you should have something like this, two floppy sides and a handle. Then what you're going to want to do is go to an elevated place. That's your helicopter in action. You're going to take your helicopter and drop it. You can see it spins on its way down. You can try this with all different shapes and sizes of helicopters. Ready? Go! As you can see, as you can see, the last one we dropped spun the most and went in the air for the most amount of time. So clearly, that is the best design for a helicopter. next experiment, we will be making a DIY submarine. When you put uh, a cup of air into a bowl of water, the air will remain in the water and no water can get in. So the cup is completely filled up with air and no water. Yeah. 
we will now be making the submarine. So, since we figured out that air stays in the cup when we put it underwater, that means that it's not getting wet, the inside of the cup. And to test this, we will be using a dry paper towel and we will be putting it in a cup. Then we're gonna put this cup underwater and see if it stays dry. So now it's underwater. Now we're gonna bring it back and let's see. Hey, it's so dry.